Hello there and welcome to another Commodore 64 playthrough and this time we're going to play through the game called FA Cup Football. So what do you do in this game? Uh, this game is very different to most football management simulators in that you're not controlling a team or that you're not playing as a team. What you have to do with this game is you pick a series of teams that you wish to play and then they are basically put into the hat. And it's almost like a card game, like a trading game, where you uh, you see how your teams play out, and there's no real um, there's no real sort of uh, skill involved. You just basically are picking a bunch of teams uh, and then seeing how they go. According to the, the game uh, manual, it does take into account things like how uh, how these teams have done in the past with, uh, you know, FA Cup tradition, if you like, but um, I don't believe that uh, you know it's this was 1980 something, so there's not going to be a lot of history there in terms of how things are now. So I'm just going to pick a few teams. I'll pick Darlington for some reason. I'm going to pick Man City, who are my team. I've also picked Alshingham, who are a uh, another one of my teams, my hometown team. They um, have a good cup tradition as well, Aldringham. They tend to do very well in cups, so uh, I've picked them as well. The Happy Hammers, let's pick West Ham. I'm also going to pick Newcastle. Uh, a Gateshead in here as well, let's have a look. Uh, da, da, da. Sunderland in here, 78. I think you pick um, you pick 18s, or if you press P, it will, it will randomise them for you. It will just pick a load of teams out of that. Bly Spartans, of course Bly Spartans, got to pick them. Uh, who else is, Who else do I like? Let's have a quick look. I need to pick some decent teams, or else this is going to be a very short, <laughs> short sort of playthrough. Um, Oh, let's see what else we've got. Tranmere, everybody likes Tranmere. Let's go and get them in there as well. So jumped around through. I'm going to say yes. You can play through the whole, uh, you know, round one. But as you're going to see now, the draw is done in real time. So as you see, my Newcastle team have got Whitby. So that should be okay. So I'm going to put this in warp mode because, as I say, it does take a while. And there are no shortcuts. So you can just go through this. So I've also got Blyther away to Reading. So they're not going to do very well. To get to the third round is quite an achievement, actually, by Spartan. So well done, Hughes. Uh, okay, just in case, you know, I was born in the Manchester area and I live in the Newcastle area, which is why I've picked the sort of teams that I've picked as well. So um, everyone through. I've, I'm looking forward to seeing which teams are actually no longer in business <laughs> amongst this lot. There'll be a, there'll be a few as well. So uh, yeah, interesting. So I've got Shrewsbury away, Man City. So this isn't the all rich Man City that you know now. This is Man City of the 80s, who were very much an up and down team. They spent most of the 80s in the uh, second tier. So yes, so there we go. So Newcastle are playing Whitby. So you get to pick what um, or what uh, formation you want to do. So Whitby are a poor team, so I'm going to pick C. Uh, okay, and then the computer's going to pick this. And so Reading versus Bly Spartans, so they're going to be defensive A. Because they've, uh, you know, not done this before. It's banging through these. Da, 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 da. Uh, I will assume I pop up at some point. Um, Wimbledon, the old Wimbledon, <laughs> before AFC and MK Dons and all that stuff. Fantastic. Okay, Shrewsbury versus Man City. Oh well, we might as well be uh, attacking. So that's C. Nice graphics, you know. It's obviously it's a basic game, but it's a, it's very much a, it's a nice graphics. I'm Sunderland's going to be balanced. I've been enjoying their Netflix documentary. It's been a lot of fun. That it's uh, I work with a lot of Sunderland fans. So here we are. So you can you can you know I'm, you know press spacebar to speed things up. It's just got um, you know it's got some of your results if you press the X key. So Newcastle are winning. That's good. Press the X key again, see if there's any more of my teams. So uh, there isn't eight teams that I'm here because I'm assuming that Altrincham got knocked out, Darlington got knocked out. Sunderland, they're getting beat. That's uh, that's unusual, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry to my Sunderland supporting friends. Oh, yeah, you pull one back. Fantastic. So it's two all. So we'll speed this up as well. So I'll tell you what, we'll just get to half time. And we'll see how things are doing. So Sunderland are winning. West Ham are winning. West Ham are really winning. Newcastle are winning. Bly Spartans are losing. But you know that was that's not to be um, uh, not to, not to be uh, understated, is it? Man City are drawing. Wow, that's unusual, isn't it? Man City actually had a good cup pedigree at this point, and they they got to the final in 1981. So the computer should at least have them 
So it would have been okay. This might have gone to a replay. Two all. Two all. Wow. How exciting. So two all. Sunderland won 5-3. What a thriller. I hope to see that one on match of the day later. Newcastle won. Blythe. Oh, plucky Blythe. Well done, Blythe. And so really, it's only Man City that have, have let the side down. The companies which arrange in the club's summer tour goes bankrupt. Okay. All right. Then. I don't quite understand what relevance these to Goldness are still <laughs> Okie dokie. All right, then. let's go attacking. Let's see if we can go and smash them. Uh, the substitute using last Saturday had a good game. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what the relevance is of all these sort of little uh, snippets. Uh, I think it maybe it's just to give the game a little bit of depth. But to be honest, when you're just picking between 4-4-2, 4-3-3 and 4-2-4, you're not really influencing that much. And City are winning 3 0, so I think that's that that's job done. So we should be fine there. And this is the old FA Cup, so there was no penalty shootouts. So everything went to replay. And if the replay was still a draw, you had another replay and another replay, and you could have five matches if you were you know careful. I remember when I was um obviously growing up in Manchester, the um Oldham Athletic team were very popular. They were such a good cup team. I seem to remember they, they ran Manchester United close a couple of times. And, uh, you know, I, I, I remember sort of following them and they did fantastic. But they had such a fixture congestion because their cup matches were going to replay after replay after replay. And with the advent of the Premier League, that's when they decided to add, you know, you got one replay and then penalty shootouts and, some of the sort of the semi-finals and the finals never went to replays and, and everything. So they've all gone to results. So now we should have the fourth round draw. So I'm just going to warp this. Let's see what, how it goes. So uh, Newcastle versus Birmingham. Ooh, I think Birmingham were quite a decent team this day and age. So, so yeah, so I've got a few teams left in the pot, which is quite good. It'd be nice if I can get a team to uh, to the final. Man City away to Luton. Luton were a decent side in the mid-80s, so that could be a tricky one. Sunderland versus Reading. West Ham versus Wimbledon. Wimbledon, were they in the top tier by this? I don't know exactly what the... Um, uh, I don't know exactly what the uh, the year this was made was. Um, but uh, they were certainly on the up. Man City versus Luton. Let's go balanced, especially as we're away from home. Uh, Sunderland versus Reading, balanced again. You know, I'm not going to push the boat up. West Ham versus Wimbledon, uh, defensive. Big John Fashion, who will be up there somewhere, won't he? A Wooga. Let's speed this up. Let's run it through. Again, you can't do anything with the game. You know, it's not that like you can stop it halfway through and, and change formations or anything. You're just basically watching the watching the time click tick by. Oh, mid game tactics. How exciting! I forgot you could do this. Newcastle isn't like that. Let's keep, let's keep it be. Yeah. Wow. Oh, how exciting. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, let's keep it be. I don't care if I get a replay, actually, to be honest. Say Luton. Good team. Uh, yeah, keep that be. Luton was um, uh, West Ham. That's absolutely fine. Keep it defense. defensive and winning 3-0. I quite like that. That's a good way of doing it. Yes, Luton were a good Good, um, a good team. Mick Hartford, I seem to remember, star striker. So let's see how this all finished. So up full time. So City drew, Sunderland won, West Ham won. It's all very good. Newcastle drew. Uh, so we're all still in the hat, as they say. So Birmingham versus Newcastle. I'm going defensive. Let's take no. Uh, uh, let's have a news flash. Yes. The shirt supplier are found to be substandard. <laughs> oh dear, and the colours run. Uh, yeah, let's go balanced again. You know, let's. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get a chance to have a news flash then. Never mind. Uh, okay. Uh, David Pleat was the Luton manager. He's a colourful character. Look him up on Wikipedia. Look at look at his driving. Uh, okay, dokie. Um, go on, let's go balanced. Yeah, let's have a news flash. The club are demanding that another team pay their outstanding transfer fee. Well, that sounds like Newcastle, doesn't it? You know, as a uh, time of writing, about to be taken over by a shake. 
Um, go on, we'll go defensive. I had a, a lot of fond memories of following City. I used to have a season ticket uh, just after when this game was made, sort of early 90s. That City team weren't the City team they are now. Let me put it like that. Although they, they did okay, they finished fifth a couple of times and uh, you know, had some good moments, but um, that's a bit different. So City won 4 2. Brilliant. Okay. So there's going to be another uh, replay. So let's just go for it. Yeah. Uh, no shrinking violets here. Okay. So this is quite fun. I mean, as I say, it's completely different to anything else that was on the market either at the time or even now. You know, you, you tend to just manage the one team. So the idea of picking a load of teams was uh, something very different. The newly signed midfield players now now eligible. You can't do that now. So that's just silly, isn't it? You know, you just can't. You can't. You know, once you cut tied, you cut tied. Unless it's the European Cup, of course. Well, that's something completely different. But yeah, it's it's a, it's a quite a clever, um, quite a clever sort of way of doing things. So Newcastle are through. Brilliant. Let's just skip through these. Okay. Oh, Southampton away. That's a tricky one. Brighton away. We should be okay with that. Although we're Brighton okay. Actually, yeah, they might, they might have been all right. Oh, the derby. Man City versus Man United. How exciting. Let's go balance the game. Let's see where we go with this. Uh, Brighton versus West Ham, balanced. Okay, there's a big one coming up. Oh, dear, dear, let's go defensive. Although, to be honest, Manchester United weren't much better than Man City at this point. Um, let's go attacking in the sort of mid-80s. Oh, right, okay. The club is in danger of relegation and has also reached the cup final from which the captain will be excluded due to one match suspension. What do you do? So I'm assuming that the right or wrong answer to this question will, will dictate how well my teams do. So let's have a look. Take the FA to court, tell him it's too bad, or arrange to play a postponed league match. Oh, let's take them to court. Ding. Right, so if all my teams get walloped here, that's <laughs> the answer was wrong. <laughs> Oh, I do love games like this where you get absolutely no feedback whatsoever. So let's see how we're doing. Sunderland are winning 3-0. That's fine. So we'll go defensive. Okay. Uh, West Ham 0-0. Nil, nil. Keep it balanced. And how are City doing? Oh, well, <laughs> what can you expect? You know, come on the Blues. So that must have been the right answer then. Newcastle versus Norwich. Let's go balanced. Let's not take the mick anymore. Let's speed this up. I'll pause sort of halfway through the second half to so sustain the excitement. Let's have a look. City winning 3-0 now. <laughs> oh, not so bad. Not so bad. Here we go. Uh, how are we doing? Oh, my God. No. No, no, no. That's not fair. Man United, three. Oh, ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Let's see how this is going. The club receive a substantial rebound from ground rent. Okay, that was thrilling. Okay, so let's go defensive. It's, it almost worked, didn't it? Let's have a news flash. The visitors have several players down. Well, <sighs> I'm not going to get a postponement. Not off me. No way. City till I die. <laughs> and we're getting beat. Fantastic. It's going to be a bit of a damp squib this episode, isn't it? If all my teams get knocked out before the final. Okay. Oh, well. We'll have to go attacking now. We'll have to go and chase it. And let's see. City are getting beat 2-0. So we'll have to go attacking. Gunko, where's Paul Dickoff when you need him? The club's pro is called to a special meeting with the board to explain an alleged unauthorised press. Oh, that's fascinating, that. That is absolutely fascinating. It's like some of the stuff that comes up in the the, the, the modern football manager, isn't it? All City have pulled the goal back. They, um, yeah, they just have these silly, stupid press conferences, don't they? West Ham winning 5-1. Are City going to pull one back? I don't think so. Last minute, maybe. No injury time. Oh, that's a bit disappointing, isn't it? Yeah, the press conferences in football manager... The sort of current version, they're equally banal, aren't they? Really, so I've got three teams left in the quarters, so that's that's not bad, is it? 
So we're going to have to go defensive because obviously Manchester United are a, a decent team. Oh, my own teams are playing against each other. Well, that's not fair, is it? Sponsors insist on an unpopular guy. Club needs the money. Football teams always need the money. So no matter what happens, I'm going to have at least one team into the next round. How are we doing then? Oh, Manchester United are winning. Of course they're winning. Let's go balanced. Uh, well, I don't really care, to be honest. So we'll just put them all as balanced. So at least I'm going to have one in the, in, in the semis. So we'll see how we go. Okay. And I'm getting mullered. So let's go to attacking because of course that's going to work, isn't it? Let's put them both attacking actually. Maybe they can get like a, a four all or something like that. That'd be good, wouldn't it? No. Not the most thrilling, is it? Substitute. Oh, well, yes, I want to substitute. Every time. Yeah, keep it on C. And we'll put a substitute on. I mean, this is this is the depth we're on now. Is that we're saying yes to a substitute. We've got no idea. I mean, who's coming on? You know, it could be uh, <laughs> Nobby Solano, or it could be, I don't know, somebody who's 87 or you know, whatever is putting you know. In the game we will we will trust. Oh Sunderland. Come on, Sunderland. Nearly. Nearly. Oh, Always the bridesmaid, anyway. So, so the other game goes to a a, a a replay. So we'll just play that. I'm not bothered about a news flash. Let's get this over and done with. D D C C C. For for two attacking teams, this isn't working, is it? <laughs> nil nil, and now it's still nil nil. We have had a goal in like hundred and however many minutes. Oh, West Ham winning. Okay, sorry, Newcastle. Sorry, Newcastle. No, yeah, go on. Let's have a news flash. The visiting team. Do they? Well, it's a bit late now since half the half the match is gone. Greedy Geordies. Greedy Geordies again, eh? Let's have a look. Still one all, one nil. Oh yeah, CC. And yes, I want to substitute. Of course, this is the day where you only got one substitution. Wow. Imagine that now. You get seven, don't you? Ridiculous. They're forever blowing bubbles, it looks like. The happy hammers. So West Ham are the only team I've got in. Oh, no. Don't get... Oh, they've got Manchester United as well. Oh, sigh. Never mind. Well, I get asked another silly question. So we'll play defensive. Here we go. Star player asks you for a transfer just before the cup match. Do you put him on the transfer list keeping the team? Of course you do. The team after a fine run loses three consecutive matches in eight days. Do you make all sorts of changes? Let's go to Mallorca. Why I get Gazza in the dentist chair. Get a few bevies inside of him. Oh, it's working, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Um, let's go to balanced. Yeah, that trip to Mallorca did well, lads, didn't it? Tense match. Tense Liverpool derby at the top. To all. Ah. How exciting. Oh, 3 2. So this must have been, is it Tony Cote, Frank McAvenny, that sort of time? I think I've got the player's name. I suppose that you, you, you've only got so much you can. So I'm going to go defensive and I'm going to have a substitute. It's a shame you couldn't have the players' names in this, but I guess that there was, um, you know, it's you've only got 64k to play with. You can't store everything. Oh, how exciting! Are we going to get to the FA Cup final? Come on, come on, the Hammers! Well done, you. Yes, and we're in the final. Who are we going to play though? Oh, do I have to watch this? <laughs> Why am I watching this? I don't care. <laughs> Oh dear. You've paid your money for your game, you're gonna get your money's worth. Central Defender recently gave away an equalizer. Well, drop him then. That's easy, isn't it? Uh, at the time of recording, Liverpool have just won the Champions League as well. So well than Liverpool, but it doesn't look like they're gonna win the FA Cup, does it? Everton three, what up? Here we go, we're nearly there. Oh, three all, so it's gonna to go to another replay. 
Blimey O'Reilly. Could be here all day. But we're 19 minutes into the recording. 20 minutes, sorry. Yes. After light rainfall. It's perfect. Well, there you go. Be a carpet, won't it? Goodison Park. Or is it now neutral? This will be neutral venues, won't it? So they'll be playing this at Old Trafford, I'd imagine. Or Main Road. Press makes a telephone call asking for confirmatory tickets. Well, of course not. It's a semi-final. Yeah, you can't just walk up and expect there to be free seats. Come on. It's still nil-nil. I feel like playing one of my other sort of long plays while I'm waiting for this. Anybody fancy a game of Sentinel or something? You know, I'll, uh... <laughs> Somebody score, please. Oh, another nil -nil. Oh, good old Toffees. So it's Toffees versus West Ham. Oh, listen. Abide with me. <laughs> oh, now you're spoiling us. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Abide with me. Oh, how exciting was that? You just spoil players these days with your sort of 3D render graphics and everything. A good and experienced player is now on the match on the declines due for a testimony match next season. Of course you do. Number two. You know, a bit of Vincent Company going on there. Player spokesman says the squad wants cut bonuses. Agree to discuss the matter with them. You've got to treat people like grown-ups. The club fans have been misbehaving on. <laughs> naughty West Ham fans. Naughty specials. <laughs> Number two. Right, here we go. And you can't speed up the final from what I remember. So you have to sit through that. Oh, we get some commentary. Oh, good ground passes. Never mind. Oh, great graphic that, isn't it? You know. <laughs> It spoiled you, didn't that, in 1980, whatever. So even if you saw that, you thought you'd made it then, hadn't you? None of these vector graphics and all sorts of other things. I might have to warp this, actually. Let's warp it. Boring. <laughs> uh, stick on a beat. Bees are doing well. Let's just go through this. Both teams are playing the ball wide. But it said it was okay. Why is there a mud pool? Oh, and we're winning. We're winning. 1-0. One -nil. Oh, the excitement. Could this be it? Uh, let's stay at B for now. I'm not going to go defensive. I don't want to uh, tempt fate. The tackling is fierce. Well, what do you expect? It's a cup final. Oh, 2 0 now. This is, this is you know, it's my superior management skills, this, isn't it? Uh, let's go defensive because they've pulled the goal back. And we'll bring on a substitute. Alvin Martin probably shore up the defence. Well, oh, as you see, Alvin Martin's come on, so the tackling is fierce. Let's speed this up three one now. Yeah, all done by the shouting. What? What? Four three? Don't be ridiculous. Was there extra time? No, it went to a replay, didn't it? Oh, West Ham are the winners. Wow. So there we are. So out of my eight teams, I got one to the final, and then they won it. So I've sort of won if you like, won the FA Cup football game. Exciting. And then we go back to the beginning. So there you go. So it's a lot of fun. Something completely different. Even for even now, you know, there's nothing the same to this. And uh, yeah, great fun. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Any questions, leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.